afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting Pamanda Cast from here, host and Pearl Dane, Master Propaganda Hero Psych Defender of the Fatherland. We're all facing exciting one versus one on You guessed it, crossroads from the South we got here. Tod Biel, a lot of numbers. Fighting here for the Wehrmacht. Germany Deutschland taking on the role of the Hammond Girling Falschirm Panzer Division. A ranked 16 Wehrmacht player from Germany. Haven't seen him before though, but and he's around. Versus the North, he got Dots fighting for the Soviet Union. Socialism, Stalin. The first mechanized call here with partisan Dots and Barry Rock meeting chosen. A rank 63 Soviet player from Korea. South, obviously. We got here Lightning War Elite Troops and Mobile Defense for Tort. Anti tank gun, machine gun, and infantry. Versus double machine gun, anti tank grenade bulletins there for Dots. With double conscript engineer start here. With the support weapon company there also, so he's clearly going to be going for support weapons with the Grenadier MD42 start here for Tort, a more standard start there for the Wehrmacht. Dots though is definitely unusual. Dots is definitely unusual and stands out quite a bit there. So this should be an interesting fight there. Going straight for the Western fuel pump with Sandbags going up and you need sort of connecting points though they still need this point as well, otherwise it's not going to matter here. Second contest squad around there for Dots and the first mechanized core. Pioneers moving towards the fuel. Coming this quick, you know, in your head there. Looks like it uh, will try and push aggressively against the opponent here. The MD42 certainly seems to be setting up for it, or maybe not. Maybe not. But we got the second disc one way there for Todd. Machine gun repositioning. Comes from Westwards. Looks like it's going to try and pressure his opponent around the fuel pond there. Call for security. Sees the hill on the main map and quickly positions all his forces. MD42 setting up just in range to cover up. And there you go, comes with net light cover there being suppressed, or should be suppressed soon enough. Comes going down the west side, tank of his got running, fuel pump connected for Tort, and the Hammond Girling Falchion Panzer Division. Maximum run there for Dots. And the is engaging the country out in the open, and force to shift in to support them as well. Kennedy is caught here, number two moving up, could try and push for the car front for some more aggressive antics there. There's his dots and the first mechanized core. Maxima rowing there, that support his front line too for some good suppression and some tiny wheels. MD4 setting up here again, we can see very aggressive play there from Tort. He is swinging hard here for Germany. In the West, they're going to lose his conscripts. Comes to their risk soon being suppressed, but they're going to sit around the car from the wall. So, nobody's actually wired off here to prevent his opponent from digging in around there. Clever there with a bit of foresight from Dots. Comes to suppressed. Morgan this round. We got an early mort here for Dots. So two conscripts into a maximum and a mortar for Dots. That is definitely not even remotely a usual Soviet opening. Most of them just involves a lot of penal troopers or snipers, scout cars, but then generally not support weapon companies into maxims and mortars. And certainly not what you expect here, you know, in the top 100. But again, that's also where the top 100 gets interesting. You should get players at times, you know, just willing to just go off the beat and try and actually do something really interesting like this. Because at the same time, it's still effective because they actually know how to utilize it. But there you go, Maximus suppressed. Fourth gun is one there for Tort, but he's going to have to fall back pretty soon because the mortar is still within, you know, range of all the supporting weapons. So there you go, Pioneers flanking in there with the MP40s. The Schmeisser's going to do suppressed, can't they getting unsuppressed. Closing up there with the Pioneers, the MP40s going down the Maxim crew, but themselves apparently getting close enough. Oh, it's Helmut. It's Helmut, the idiot, who ran right in front of it, getting the entire unit suppressed. The butts. God damn it, Helmut. You can't do anything right, can you? So that all of a sudden, it's anything ugly. We got a partisan squad there rounding. With the PPS 41s quickly cutting down a few of the Germans. Gonna do this uh, reinforcing. Fun well, fact, I think the part of the small weapon was the Sten gun because that was actually easier to manufacture themselves, and many of them sort of made, you know, Sten gun like machine guns of their own, so they stole from the Germans. The only ones that had Russian weapons were the ones supplied by the Soviets, or were just former Soviet troops, or technically still Soviet troops, that were caught behind enemy lines. But for a lot of other partners, it was just basically stuff like, you know, self-made Sten guns or variations of it. We got mines hit by a really good work there. A lot of players don't know, don't care. They can actually use the partners to lay down mines. But the really good ones actually use the partners to lay down mines. So, really nice work there by Dots. Also noting, it's not going completely all in on the partisans either. I mean, some players are going to just begin spanning them, throwing that there to gain every excuse against the opponent. But Darts here so far showing quite a bit of restraint in his partisans. I mean, one can, for example, be quite disruptive, and obviously more can, but at the same time, at a certain point, just risking you know, suffering from huge manpower bleed if you're using them poorly. 
So this should be interesting. Fuel upon them being secured so far. Tort is not rushing towards to deal with that, which would ensure Dots can get more fuel here than the Germans to their marked. We got medics on the way there for Dots and the first mechanized corps. The Hammond Goering Fighting Panzer Division was basically Hammond Goering's own favorite personal unit, which started out as a police unit back in the early days of the Nazi regime, before this sort of became an increasingly militarized unit. Then it became a flat unit, then it became an actual army unit, which started small, but then became a Panzer Gunner Division, which then was formed into a Panzer Division, and then finally was a full Panzer Corps, all basically to satisfy Hammond Goering's ego. Go figure. So it did reasonably perform well though it was, despite in some ways the elite division not really equipped like one, for example it never received any armoured half tracks until it became a Panzer Corps, in which case it was an attached Panzer Fusilier Battalion that received the armoured half tracks, but it never itself received it and usually I mean if you were any sort of worth it you'd at least have some armoured half tracks, but the Hammond Goering never received any interestingly enough. Got a bit of fighting around here, pushing up there, we got Mars going off, police need to retreat in the face of the Partisans with their PPS 41s and their grenades and whatnot. More engineers on the way there for dots, having lost the squad there to the Germans. Find the center there. We got no mortars to help tort their deal with any dark in weapons from dots, so that could take a bit of a while there. We also got sustained fire. Wow. I actually haven't seen that one in some time. I mean, it's also recently added ability, but still, I've not really seen anyone use it. But then again, most people never use the Maxim because they just spam parts, penal troopers, and uh, discus. And these white in the house, but have lost there for Tort. That's quite interesting, running out against the MP42 there slightly. Come these back in there, and there we go, rifling it off, potentially collapsing the house. A lot of back and forth here between Tort and Dots, though it does seem to an extent Dots is a bit on the defensive versus Tort, though again, he is doing a bit of action in the east, Pioneer securing the victory point. And these versus conscripts. That mortar is uh, certainly putting some pressure there in Tort, and I think proving quite helpful here for Dots. Certainly should not underestimate it. And there you go, conscript flank in there. Dots there putting in some good flanks, some good maneuvering there against Tort and the German army. Very nice work. Light machine guns all the way there for Tort and the German army. Back here we got take up off the sleep, but uh, no buildings to show for it and yet. Conscript pursuing the gun ideas there. Fourth gun were almost done. Also a bit of pressure on the west side. The center victory point has been conceded to Dot and the first mechanized call for the time being. Pushing up here, close quarters actions. A few casualties piling up. And there we go, we got the LMG 42. Threatening a quick death there to the Russian infantry. But ultimately, the conscripts went out there. They're going to do what he weak enough for the conscripts to beat them silly. Maxim back into the house here. Getting a bit risky though. Getting a bit risky. And we got the Lucky Mechanized Company up here. Half track to the two could be good options here for Tort. Or a Panzer going to do what would be really good here since Dots doesn't have a lot of infantry. So Panzer going to do quickly overwhelm and then pull off some good flanks. More mines from the Partisans. Very good work there. And we got Tangwood Tank plant going up there for Dots as well. So he's got a lot going there versus Tort and the German army. Not to say that Tort is doing nothing. I mean, he's harassing all the way on the west node. He's quickly cutting off the fuel point. Slightly wedging away. Now moving on to another point there. Instead of just thinking about there to take fire from the Soviet mortar crew there. With a PM-41, 82mm mortar. Which is slightly different ammunition than the German mortars. The, you could still use, in theory, the German ammunition, it'd just be less efficient. It had less range because they're just, uh, you know, less well built for that. So, a little fun fact there. Quick grenade against the Grenadiers, quickly dodge, but that of course gives the parties more free shots before they have to retreat. Pioneers hold up at the maximum in the center, so up here, we got Grenadiers there with the light machine and the conscripts. Cutting off more territory there behind Dots' lines. Very nice to see there by Tort. And these push back here. Need to be careful they don't hit into that mine. That's certainly a bit of a loss there for Tort and the German army. And we can see Tort is finally responding here to uh, Dots' mortar by actually getting a mortar of his own. He could also have gone for a light vehicle. Panzer Squad try and rush it maybe somehow, but uh, he's going for a mortar of his own. A Granatenwerfer, with which to pummel the rations into the dirt. And down the canoe squad here, catch the conflict between two light machine and wielding grenadier squads. That's going to be a bit of a problem there for 
dots and the first mech and I squad these rushing in more troops. I promise these chaps are gonna get focused down pretty hard before the other squad can arrive. And they'll be then Oh, never mind, more to the rescue once more for dots, landing a nice hit there. Almost fit from you two already. Very good work there. Certainly highlighting the value in having a mortar, even as the Soviets. And they're going to for two nice position there. They're a bit risky in some ways. Hawks up the engineers, protects the east. And pioneers inside the house. I'm guessing that's a misclick there, or he's just looking to deny it. No lot vehicles or panzer gonna do you get for tort or any doctrines. We got tight the T semi light tank on the way for dots. That's gonna definitely force tort to have to go for pack 40s or two PPs to counter it. We can see the maximum they're falling back in the face of the mortar, not exactly desiring it to get, you know, pulped there. Very nice work. Then he needs to set about counter mortaring his opponents. Mortar using the better accuracy gains from the G2 to sort of land some better hits. And the mortar gets swapped here by the Soviet mortar. Bit of a loss there for Tort. They can at least recover it. Quick rough note there on the Maxim, almost wipes it. Can't quite get close enough. Needs to be careful over that house around that mortar. Parson pushing there for the German mortar. We got going to this kind of tank. They should be able to defend it. Oh dear. Just got out there before he might have potentially lost the entire unit. MD4 is setting up there. Come this pushing at Parson being rolled off the field. T70 arriving. Still no pack 40, but there he goes. As soon as he sees the T70, as soon as he fires on him, he does call in the pack 40 there. And he's pushing forward, supported there by the recruit and mortar. Got the T-70 falling slightly back. He might be worried his opponent already has the Pat 40. Of course, Tord does not. If Dots knew that, he'd probably be a bit more aggressive with his T-70 there. Try to push further forward and do more damage. Rather than hang back like this, because again, he's worried. You know, he doesn't want to lose his T-70 already this turn soon on. That could be you know, a sizable victory for Tord if the T-70 was quickly you know, put to a decisive end. So Dots, he is playing his T-70 more cautiously. Rather than just, you know, whack it ahead. But again, if you knew the pack 40 wasn't there yet, and of course it does. Now, in fact, you should have not caught him paying fully attention to this, but he does know there's a pack 40 now. Obviously, again, he might be triggered tough, so just keep track of all the radio intercepts. Dotty is this suffering, lost the country squad here to Tort and the German army. Demo charges being used there, plus mines. Sneaky work there by Dots, though note they have not been combined into a super mine. That mortar though is quickly proving itself to be quite the uh, valuable investment though for Dots here against the Germans. That's only taken quite a few lives and wiped a few things. Take over there for Tork, gonna try and push straight ahead for medium armor versus Dots. So it sort of looks like a tier 2 rush, but could have been a bit faster to be honest. Could have been faster. He could already be in. I mean, considering all the fuel you can't be, could have out sooner, but there's some issues there with unit preservation. Plus, of course, the T70 there not being delayed as much as he wanted to, rather has prevented Tort from rushing it as much as he would like. We could have this out, you know, sooner and probably had Panzer for up by now if it sort of uh, fought a bit more efficiently in some ways. So, a bit sloppy there. But in the meanwhile, though, Dot's keeping up as he can with mine speed and still laid down there for the Partisans. Really good work there. I mean, again, most players just never use it. Creeping up, they're ready to blast anyone. A few pair of superfluous air holes if they come too close. And a Sis 3 for Dots, who's obviously all standing to where his opponent might be pushing for armor himself. He's probably also seen the news about the tech now, there's less going on, he can actually pay attention to it. And lastly, he's aware there's going to be armor coming his way. Also, got a Doctor on Trust there for Talk, it is a lightning war. Mine went off actually by a mortar. Damaging the engine of the T70. That's a bit lucky there for Tort. That is a bit lucky. And of course, highlight like short. Be careful about hanging around your own mines. Gonna lose pushing force life grenade support there against the country. Pushing back, have 40 there. Blasting with the T70. Can't quite hit. Pressure up the west side here with the Parsons. And anti tank it arrives. So Palmer caught up. But a uh, few more moments here before calling the Panzer Fort versus Stotts. A few more moments. Before the Panzer Kampfwagenführer can arrive here for the Feld, or not Feld and Halle, but the Hammond Göring Fallschirm Panzer Division. Which used a mix of Luftwaffe camouflage, which by hand, but also Waffen SS camouflage, as they somehow got access to those. 
fun little nook there. Fun little nook. Can you just bring out the light machine gun? Parton's still waiting. For anyone to get too close. It looks like he's try, still trying. Oh, there we go. Shots fired. And the same gun is got going out. Miles' body was waiting for there. Quick grenade, but easily dodged here by Tort. He's having none of that from those Marxist bastards. A lot of mortify there. Rifle grenades pushing up to the center. T7 keeping about there, but it's 45mm gun. Talks time to be a bit on the defensive here. There's dots until he can get out the Panzer, and there we go. We got the Panzer 4 now inbound for Tort and the Hammond Göring Falchion Panzer DB Sean. Need to be careful here. His mortar is within range of the Soviet veteran mortar. More troops around to block things up there. And there you go, mortifying himself under fire, not just from any mortar, but the T-70 as well. The pack 40 shoots, attack round team, but can't quite hit. Conscripts in the centre of the map getting blasted. Until they are finally forced to abandon their positions in the face of Tort's vicious infantry assault. Maxim back on job as well. And we got a smoke screen down here, interesting. Interesting by Dots there, not a bad idea. Probably to screen against the MG42 to allow him to grab the point safely. Very nice to see then. T Center quick switching over to deal with the gunners in the west. Panzer 4 though does arrive here for Tort. And the Hammond Goering. Feeling about machine on the way there as well. Adding some more firepower. Pioneer still waiting about there. Smoke won't help much against the Panzer 4 breaking through the smoke. Yet the smoke, it does nothing. Yes, it does nothing if they go through it, you idiot. Now they're all dead. So very dead. You can soon go for another Panzer 4 though. You could also consider using relief infantry just so that way you soak up losses. Use tactical movement to that way keep pace with the tanks from the attack with his infantry and surprise and rush dots at times. I mean, it's a pretty good ability if you know how to use it. MG42 remaining in the east. He could stand to, I think, be a bit more flexible and fluid with his MG42 at times. It does feel a bit uh, too static. Does feel a bit too static at times. I think he had more impact there as his dots. No, he's using his T-75 to spot ahead. Therefore, supporting weapon, including his mortar. Very nice work there. Dots is displaying himself to be quite flexible in several ways. Very nice to see. And I think we got uh, mines down here. Plus, mechanized armor company up in his base can go for T-34 from the six nine wants to. Tort there can go for the Panzer IV now, number two, and he does immediately go for it as soon as he can. Fighting in the center, fighting in the east, fighting in the west, fighting along the center line or the center road. Panther Ball moving up there, constant out in the open, it's going to be easy target for the Panther Ball shoots, misses. A lot of machine guns are there, blasting at the conscripts, punishing them in a storm of lead. Good German lead. Field gun shoots, penetrates the side over there, the Panther Ball, parts are leveling up there, veteran 3 already, 11 kills. Morton, a really bad spot there to be honest for Tort, not entirely sure how that happened, might have been a misclick, or well, Unity ordered specific to attack and then the Morton just follows, hard to say there what happened for Tort, but that was definitely not the place the Morton should have been in. Second, Panzer 4 mobilized, Pine, oh, gonna do this now in the house. I think he's actually doing it now that I think about it, to prevent Pardon from paying through it, so he's constantly having something now, I mean honestly if he were to do that, he could just stay down s might in front of the house, I mean that would work just as well. If it then actually to call in something there, it would run straight to the S-Mines and get wiped, which I think would be pretty well there off for uh, Tord. Issued five tank destroyer up here for Dots, not a T-34 from 6, as it would have initially figured, but aiming for a tank destroyer to deal with all the Panther Force, which is actually a pretty good choice. Gonna do creeping about, Panther 4 moving up here. Setting up for some kind of flank on the west side. Very good work there. Dots focusing everything on the center, which case, you know, putting pressure on the flanks is definitely the best idea. In particular, when the fuel is on the flanks as well, that makes it an even better idea rather than pouring, you know, a lot of resources into the center, into some kind of, you know, pointless meat grind. I mean, no point in suffering from full on Stalingrad syndrome.
maximum blasting away there, troops advancing in the center, mortals rage support pack 40, can also crit move need be, wrath nades there, mortify owning in, we also got so mortify there in return, no armor support, enter tank support is not really forthcoming either, there we go, max and wipe, of course trying to flank in with his panther 4 here, going for a deeper flank, get behind his opponent, there he goes, he's sitting in, but starting uh, to look like a much more shallow flank, in fact not a flank at all, that definitely feels weak, in fact, it's going to run straight to a mine when he could take this route, and in fact, would have been no mines whatsoever. Obviously, he doesn't know, but uh, still, a few pioneers that support the flank means would have been the ideal choice, but instead, he just sort of goes for a very shallow flank, hits a mine, and the entire thing is, you know, pulled off. He does get his opponent's fuel point away there, so that's not entirely bad. I've got the T-70 units, we can deal with that. So that could have been executed a bit sharper there by Tort, and the T-70 kills on its own. Don't worry, he's coming out, he... He was a counter-revolutionary. He was clearly a counter-revolutionary. Pack 40 shoots down. I think we got hit in the issue 5, but the Panther was taking several hits there from the field gun and the issue 5. Mortar gaining veterinary fee there. Putting Dots in a very strong position there with artillery, with a veterinary fee. Mortar, which can put a lot of pressure there on Tort. Smoke screen again here on the MD42 to cover the center from it. Very good work as well. I like he's using smoke. Comparatively, though, Tort isn't making much use of it. Those mortars getting wiped again. He needs to be careful about it, to be honest. He needs to be careful. He's way too careless around his opponent's mortar. Way too careless. Could go for a third panther, in which case we'd probably assemble quite an armoured fist so that way, beat in Dots' teeth. That's a full-on armoured onslaught with three panther force, in particular the support of probably an infantry using tactical movement and maybe a mortar to lay down a smoke screen could really leave Dots in a very bad position. I mean, imagine he threw down a smoke screen here, toss it, the panther supported then by infantry, you know, Pushed forwards by tactical movement, he greased in a swarm, everything here destroyed and just crush it. I mean, that would be tactically, I think, a very strong move, but also then hit pressure on the calf point and sort of, you know, probably, you know, risk wiping out a few units of dots, maybe stealing the field gun and the maximum, really leaving a very bad state. So I think, you know, he could consider something like that. But Tulti seems a bit more cautious now that his opponent comes moving up there. Another attempt at sandbagging there by Dots, in this case disrupted by the arrival of the fascists. Oh dear. Need to cover around the centre here, come this flanking in, roughing it off against the Maxim again. Interesting enough, not the field gun, which you know, would arm just push up with his pencil force without having to worry about that, destroying them. We've also lamp to just focusing down on the issue fire with it. And the rest of them have got the pencil moving in here, and then moving away. Issue fire blocking the path. And looks like here Tord is actually not aiming for the Tiger tank, not a third Panther IV. I mean, a Tiger tank is what about two Panther IV and more than anything else. It ought to be a really strong assault formation. Of course, it does require the dust, you know, make it all work together and sort of in concert. Well, there you go, Molotov's up here for Dodge Infantry. Flanking Max, machine gun pushing regular leads, wiped here with the Sys 3 field gun barrage up close. Quite lost it for Tord, who has yet to go for any Panther one of these whatsoever as well. And it's also beginning to float quite a few munitions. Compared to he hasn't mined a lot there. I mean, no real telemines, S mines, or anything like that. So I feel like uh, Tort could be doing more there versus his opponent. Oh, yeah, no, begin using some abilities. And there we go, we got one. It is close air support here. A couple of Stukas. The Kanonen Vogel variant is known as they're moving in with a 13 minute cannon. So almost got the C7. They almost got it. And ah, uh, gets taken out. Panther almost knocked out. Got him. Oh, straight past the demo charge, but he can't see, so he doesn't know. But a bit of a loss there for Dot. And the first mechanized squad, Mima Punchison's pushing up towards the center there. Securing the center once more for the motherland. Interesting enough, though, it seems like Dot has either forgotten about it or not caring about the eastern side of the map anymore. Basically, lying torch and then also focuses resources here. So that's interesting to note. He does go for the third Panther IV now, or is he saving up for the Panther IV? I'm not entirely sure what it is Tort is planning anymore. Okay, looks like he's back to Tiger plan there versus Dots. I mean, with two Panther IVs out in the sort of 
control this guy. It's not a bad idea at all. As long as you just, you know, supports it properly doing assaults. In which case, again, it's going to be really difficult here for Dodge to deal with because he's got a field gun and HD5. And a tiger tank support by two Panzer Force infantry and mortar can really do a lot of nasty things there, if, you know, used correctly. And in that regard, attack movement is probably going to be a really important ability because, again, it allows his infantry just to move faster and that's going to be harder to react to if they pull out a flank, you know, all of a sudden. We'll have to see there what Tort does. Got one Panzer Force to coming out, the other one being repaired there. Well, he should be repaired. Continue finding on the center can reduce being suppressed. We've got a T-34 flanking. Very good work there by Dots. Very good work. Max on that being suppressed and now taking loss there from one machine gun. She's firing down at it. Smoke screen again here from Dots. Very good use of smoke. And there you go. Dot there finally able to call in the Tiger. Support the Hammond Gurling. Fighting on Panzer Vision. Just going out. Got two Panzer Force and a Tiger tank. Now the question comes down to how will he utilize them and how will he support them. Because again, smoke screen here, charging in with the Panzer Force and the Tiger. Infantry with tactical movement could probably break through here and crush Dots' entire center easily. I mean, a good spirit of assault supported by the smoke and just, you know, speed, they can really do a lot of damage in many cases. You also got mines to help cover flanks, but again, from a head-on assault under a smoke screen, there's absolutely no defense. Got the Tiger moving up there. Panzer Force supporting. The Russian infantry being demolished in the need for the armored might of Tord. And there you go, got the h fire flying away there, penetrating the Tiger just a bit. Got a maximum field gun coming in the center. No smoke screen there. Pack 40 sitting up to an h 5 Panzer on the west being pushed back there by the Sis 3. With another T-54 around there for Dots and the first mechanized core. And these they almost wiped out. Come on, dots, just a single mo oh, not dot, but tot, just a single smoke screen. Alright, seems like he's not too concerned with that. He feels a bit like a mistake, or at least a missed opportunity. Because again, I mean just Good assault there. Charging with the tank, supported by infantry again. You could overwhelm at least some of the support infantry and maybe a tank or a tank destroyer and then steal it away. Plus, I mean, once it got up here, you could then cut off the field gun here in the maximum there, maybe steal the field gun, turning that against dots. I mean, you know, a good flank there. Well executing, just a good assault head on under smoke screen. There's smoke screen. You know, it can really you know, have quite an impact on your opponent. But so far, Chort seems less keen on that. Going hit the pack 40 there in a rather awkward manner, used to making a target hit the Russians, and obviously making the targets out here. Target on the unconscious, Panzer 4 falling back, other Panzer 4 waiting there, and demo chart spotted dealt with. You notice there's a field gun, it is set to move up with Panzer 4 anyways. Had a weird choice there, but Tort might be him forgot about the field gun, or expecting it to be moved elsewhere to then deal with this target, but clearly Dot is not interested in that. At least Dot's not falling for that one. Dot in an interesting choice. Goes for the Kitchuja rocket launcher. That way, deal with any sort of support problems there from Tort. But of course, if Tort gets pressed with his tanks, the Kitchuja is not going to be of much use. We'll have to see where that ends up. I'd love to see what ends up. But there you go. Strange the line of fire there getting pummeled and pelted the machine gun fire. Torch men, or dots men, charge force, and there you go. Heroically get blown to bits. Machine gun again getting smoked there. Very good work there by dots. Very good work. Consistent and nice talk the uses of his MP42. If only Tort would learn a bit from dots on how to use smoke. He's just trying to, you know, use regular bombardments all the time. Panther 4 is the T-34 from 6, 2nd Panther 4 arriving there. Great hit there from the 5 Pack 40 opening up there. Any target weak point? No. Tiger slowly moving ahead here. Almost got the 85. Could try and roll ahead here. A bit aggressive, but then again, it's Tiger and his Panther 4 are too damaged, so it would probably be too risky there. Particularly since he's also got no immediate infrastructure. And there you go, Katrusha fire there, straight into the center. Gonna be this there, close being wiped out. 
as the rockets fly through the skies, the air. Ready to destroy anything before it. Picking up that Panther 4 back here. Troop reinforcing healing. Bit of a standoff. Chort, though, seems to we'll be putting less emphasis on flanking. Like I used to just trying to grab the center, so it seems like both players to an extent are suffering a bit from Stalingrad syndrome by now. Well, at least uh, Darts is playing a bit more, I think, tactical awareness about his abilities, whereas Chort just seems to be forgetting about all the stuff he can do, like tactical movement, target weak point, smoke screens. Which is definitely unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate. Third pioneer squad there for talk to assist with tank repairs and patrol. That tiger's going to require quite a few pioneers to get back in action fast. Without it, it's going to be uh, well a lot slower. Head on assault again. No smoke screen again. It rather seems like again torch stuck in a bit of a rut there again. Starts is calling in air support to help deal with the armor and the tank destroyer. Cut the Panthers moving ahead. Load it injured a bit there. Concentrating blast it. Other tank moving up here. It's marked by the way out here by Russian air support. Panthers moving up to the west here. Okay, got an armor flank going there. Got a blitzkrieg going there. For the, not blitzkrieg. Looked like it though. And. Got it. But it's anything moving up from the front. There's a tank there moving in that side. Force away the Panther 4 here. Air support almost got the HD 5. This is where you know some infantry support would be great. And again, tanks can move and rush up. They're going to use something else just to assist. But instead, it rather leaves his tanks for the minimal support and makes it much easier to dealt with here by Dodge. So that ultimately didn't work out too well. I mean, he might have gotten one T-34, but his opponent's got a almost especially free H-35 tank destroyer. Nor did he really do a lot. It sort of otherwise did a great harm to Dodge and push back the front line severely. So. He expended a lot without really gaining a lot from it. So again, while nicely done to an extent, the overall issue was just he wasn't able to coordinate into some greater unity. And the infantry was definitely lacking. The infantry was definitely lacking. Saying about to retire, getting repaired up. Half eight to veteran two one. Panther four close to veteran two two. Should add in some more punch there. Or at least be a bit more durable. Soaking up those punches just a bit better. To maximum setting up that field going hang back. Punch being suppressed, pummeled by its own weapon there. Might just look like it. Wouldn't be the first time one of his units killed one of his own. A case of friendly fire. There we go, catching the field gun there, wiping out with the Gunnadiers with light machine guns. Again, this is what would be you know, great if you support the Panzer Force with the Gunnadiers Force there, using tactical movement to be easily focus down any support ones dealt with. The Gunnadiers being hit here, but. Note. Now, where is the armored support? It's not there. So that means, again, his assault lacks a certain something. So, again, while it does have some punch, it can't really just you know do as much as it could, I feel. You could have maybe destroyed the field gun, denied to his opponent, gotten a tank. Instead, they can be sort of slowly advancing here, getting some damage into the ultimate force away there because there's not enough sort of overwhelming firepower in one go. Trying there for the field gun. And we got the E5 bubbling up there. The pack 40 for some reason can't seem to hit the field gun. In fact, it seems like shots are phasing out in many cases. That's going to force away there from because he felt just too much effect to ignore. Target weak point here would be great. Tort, target weak point. Aim for the weak point, Ludwig. Where is it? It's a Russian vehicle. It's everywhere. Do you know how this stores the ammunition? It's terrible. Pack 40 the wiped here. Quite a loss there for Tort. And the German army. We didn't even get the SIS 3. Though, again, because the pack 40 shots just kept vanishing or missing, I guess. 
Need to fix up the Tiger tank. He's going to need more armor. A Stu could be good. Another Panther 4, maybe. He could also take that sooner, for example. While he was at full pop cap, set up for tier 4. Have it Panzer Fairfus, but also Panther could have also been quite good for Tort, you know, in particular doing some of these all sorts where dots are sort of bunched up. A Panther would be quite good at clearing out some of those support weapons. A uh, Panther would certainly also just be more of a challenge for the T 54 and the H 5. Setting up for a flank here on the western flank with a Panther 4. Tiger repairing another Panther 4 though, so again, he, if, I feel like he missed Arm 2 to go for tier 4 when he actually you know what's the situation that could be made workable. Definitely feels like a bit of a missed opportunity by Tort and the Hammond going Falchion Panzer to be sure. Panzer moving up there, crushing tombstones, walls, and apparently someone stacking explosive barrels next to it all. Because that's obviously where stash anything flammable or explosive right next to, you know, the tombstones. Almost got the max in there, but it does get away there with a sliver of health. Back 40 switching over there. Tiger good to go for the cinema body of the MP42. Panther 4 they're arriving to the front line. Panther 4 up north, he's playing a game of uh, Cat and Mouse here with a Russian T34. Gaining red T2 there, shirts and up. Pat 40 in, need to fall back with the Panther 4 in the center here. Russians push back there with some degree of violence. There goes second Panther 4 branch, you'll be able to get the T34. He's recovered at the pack 40 and. Ah, shot bounced, shot bounced, but the T-34 shot also bounced. Pack 40 on the hand, it does not. Meat grind over the center continues, tilt overall. Struggling again, I feel to coordinate his infantry and armor into some kind of greater force. In terms of combined arms. Whereas Tilt is not having so much, or Dot's having not so much of an issue with that. On the other hand, he's much more on the defensive at the moment. He can't quite flex his muscles there very much. But it certainly makes it easier for him to defend against Tort attacks. Whereas again, Tort attacks always, you know, either lack tanks or they lack infantry. And that's sort of never, you know, quite to that sort of greater level of uh, power. They could really allow him to push through and do some serious damage to Dots. Party's power is still alive, but there you go, quickly pushed away. Another push here, needs to be careful about that. They can choose to quickly, quick, you know, wipe out more units there as they try to grab the center. I don't think he's actually still using any smoke in his mortar either. That certainly feels a bit there uh, missing. And we got here spy network quickly allowed to suss out where all of Tort's armor is, if there's anything happening on the flanks, and for that matter if there's any weak spots you could exploit. Though I'm guessing not that last part because honestly he's doing nothing in these which is really, really open so far. But again, it allows you to keep track of any flanks Tort might actually do. Making it a bit harder for him to do so. Target advancing, shoots at the maxim. A nice hit from the mighty Tiger, constantly advancing out in the open. Panther 4 fixing up there, second Panther 4 still need repairs. Got the half eight expecting the three T for the going after the tiger. Bold move there by Dots. Bold move. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. And when this closing wiped out, he's careful they doesn't suffer any more needless losses. They somehow, for some reason, pushing ahead with a few grenadiers there through the center without any sort of support. He's just using to call in air support. The problem is though. It only works if you can actually see it, so I mean he's rather wasting a lot of it I feel, but there he goes going for the tiger spent might to make work because that means there'll be line of sight and there you go, T fed four goes down into the Canon and Fogel, Asian farming in there might also be the line of sight. Penetrating hit there on the tiger, we got the troops going in, Pantor wins as well, that issue to five there. Vetch in the three by the way, Panther 4 flanking behind, but we still got oh moving up the other Panther 4 deal with the anti-tank weapons there, Panther 4 blitzing in against Asian 5. Can he get it? Other Panther 4 versus the anti-tank weapon, need to be careful. Still no for support there either. Good hit there. Pack 40 down, Sis 3 almost down. Damaging the Panther 4 there. Vetch and Panther 4 goes down. Can he get off a Panther Faust? No. No Panther Faust and Tommy on the H5. The H5 Ace gets away. Quite a loss there. for Tort losing both his Tiger and a Panther 4. And only getting a single T34 without getting the H5 tank destroyer. That's actually quite a loss there for Tork and the Hammond Girling. Panzer Division. Germany. It's bleeding. 
Got the pun usage charging forwards across and to pass there because we back on the deers. Panzer 4 he needs to fall back to a safer position. Got another push up for the center with limited support there. Got them off to the final move there for Tort. Finally got some movement there. Seeing back the pack 40, another Panzer 4 there on the way. Interesting enough, you're going to try setting up for a Tiger, but uh, decides to just go for a Panzer 4 first, which is admittedly fast. And in fact, go for a Panzer 4, number 3, pretty fast. We'll have to see here what he ends up. Will it be a lot of Panzer 4s? Will he try to go for the Tiger all of a sudden? What will Toot do? What will Toot do? Meanwhile, Dots going for more T-3476s. Can't swing down the center if you're following out west. Spy network once more. Mark vehicle there. Mortar shifting positions again. If I go straight here for the damaged tanks, the easy target here for the issue 5. Though, in honestly, could he also use tracking here instead of uh, focus sights and tracking large DSC more or less as far, but now to move much faster with it on. Plus, of course, also reveals units on their mini map. So, I mean, that regard, tracking is a really good ability. We do feel like it gets underestimated and unutilized a lot. So, it plays in the eastern field here. Coming up in the center, can these be suppressed? Max of mortars just sort of uh, the main to each other. Now they can choose a barrage here and oh wipe they're gonna lose the retreat leaving down with only one grenade squad and the mortar gets wiped as well and there we go Tord goes GG a loss for the German army despite several times having an advantage I think overall the issue for Tord this match was partly he suffered from Stalingrad at a certain point just got over folks in the center not enough in flanking which is where initially he had you know, some really good success versus starts but also just Whenever he attacked then, you know, he never was able to coordinate units of bigger units again. He was able to, you know, combine his arms. It was either all tanks, it was all infantry. It was never tanks with infantry, maybe a bit of mortar support. Combined that, he was also making poor use of his dogs. And it's only stood at close air support and tiger tanks. There's no relief infantry and certainly no tactical movement, which again would have been really excellent for him. But also just not enough flanking. So there's definitely some issues there. Plus, smoke from the mortar wasn't great. And you know, where, you know, dots did a lot better. He used smoke consistently against his opponent. And he also stuck his units better together compared to Tort. Of course, he wasn't quite as aggressive at times, so many gazes on the defensive. But he was able to weather the storm and slowly but surely wear down Tort and you know, look for the opportunity and then push ahead there. So, I mean, overall, well played there by Dot. So also nicely played by Tort, but again, it does need to be worked a bit there on the combined arms segment. I feel of his force, and of course, he needs to learn how to use smoke with his mortar. And of course, use his doctrine better as well. That was definitely, again, just something that could have been better. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, why not subscribe to the friends? Share it with everyone. If not, send in a replay on the price and feedback in the comment section. This is Imperial Dungeon Cheese. Thank you all for watching. Hope you'll see you tomorrow for another signing episode. Bye.